Hey, Angela Langlotz here, trademark and business law attorney. Today, somebody called me about a copyright case. Now, I know I normally talk about trademarks here because that is the bulk of my practice, but a fair amount of my practice revolves around copyrights as well. So here was the situation that presented itself today. A friend called me up asking for a friend. Of course, he was actually asking for a friend, but isn't that what we all say when we have some embarrassing problem that we don't want people to know about? Anyway, he really was asking for a friend. Anyway, the friend painted a mural on the side of a building and some enterprising soul took a photograph of it and started putting it on posters and coffee mugs and t-shirts and all kinds of other stuff and selling it. And what my friend wanted to know was, is that copyright infringement? Well, yes, it sure as heck is. So when you are an artist or a creator or any kind of, you produce any kind of creative work, it could be a poetry or a photograph or anything like that. If somebody makes a copy of it, that is copyright infringement. If someone makes a derivative work from it, that is also copyright infringement. Okay, so the photograph of the mural is a derivative work and that derivative work is a copy, even though it's creative in itself, right? Because there's some creativity into maybe deciding what the shutter speed is or the exposure or what angle to take the picture at, right? So arguably, yes, there is some creativity in that, but when you're photographing somebody else's property, somebody else's creative work, then that is called a derivative work and you are guilty of copyright infringement. Now, what remedy does, um, does my friend's friend have? Well, it depends on whether or not they registered the work with the United States Copyright Office. Now, if you registered the work, you get statutory damages and you get a ticket into federal court. If you don't, then you've got some damages that you have to prove. Now, in this case, if the person who painted the mural didn't register the copyright with the Copyright Office, then they could get the damages that they could prove. So maybe they could prove that the people who made the mugs and the posters and were selling them earned money that should have been properly given to the actual creator of the mural. So in that case, he or she could sue to be compensated for that. So any money that they collected, they could say, okay, you have to give that over to us. If you register your work with the Copyright Office, what you get are statutory damages for copyright infringement, and you can get damages for willful infringement, all, all kinds of stuff. And note that it's still copyright infringement even if the work doesn't have a circle C on it. I like to say that copyright infringement is a little bit like speeding. We don't, we don't make it a part of proving the infringement or the breaking of the law that you knew you were speeding, right? We just said, you went over the speed limit and here's your fine. You copied the work and here's your demand letter demanding damages. So the moral of the story is, unless you know for sure, for sure, that what you're making a copy of is public domain or under a Creative Commons license or, or what have you, don't copy it. Modern technology makes it super easy to copy things, especially on the internet, but you can be liable for damages for copyright infringement, even if you didn't know that it was copyrighted or you know, not a work, um, not a work that was under a Creative Commons license or public domain. You, you're still liable for copyright infringement, even if you didn't know. It's just like speeding. I'm Angela Langlotz, and you can find me online at trademarkdoctor.net. There's a bunch of stuff on that website about copyrights and patents, too, if you need to know about that. You can find me here on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash trademarkdoctor, and I go live every weekday to talk about all manner of intellectual property issues, trademarks, copyrights, patents,
And so you should tune in. If you like my page, you'll be notified every time I go live. Tune in and you can ask me questions. Message me on my Trademark Doctor page. Like it and message me and I will answer your question and tag you so that you know I am responding to the question that you sent me. I hope everyone has a good weekend. I will be back Monday with more trademark, patent, and copyright info.